is Slater from Guild Launch, and today I'm going to be talking to you about site permissions. <coughs> who can view content on your site and who can change it. The first thing to keep in mind whenever you're adding permissions, whether it's in uh, your guild in game or on your guild site, is to make sure that the person you're giving these permissions to is trustworthy. You're giving them access to some of the administrator privileges. So just something to keep in mind. With that being said, the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is give someone just blanket permissions to do anything on the guild site. You can do this by going to the members tab and you'll be brought to the list of all the members. From here all you have to do is click the box next to their name and you can make them a site admin. It'll show up right there whether or not they have admin privileges. And from here, they have access to everything on the admin tab. The only thing that they won't be able to do is remove you from the guild. And you can remove these privileges by clicking the box and just clicking the link beneath it saying remove site admin. And you can see it changes back to they don't have privileges. You can also make them a forum moderator same process, just click the, just a different button, and you can see it changes on this column. And from there they'll be able to view and moderate, delete any uh, forum posts on the guild site, whether or not they're set to be in a particular permission group. They'll still be able to view the, the forums. So we'll go ahead and remove that as well. Now if you don't want to give someone permission to do everything, if you just want them to have limited abilities on your site, then you can put them in a permission group by going to, to the permissions tab and clicking create and modify permission groups. Now, I have one permission group in here already, the officers group, which is fairly customary, but if you don't want to have that group you can either edit the name by hovering over it and clicking edit group name or you can just delete it entirely by clicking the delete group link. You have to confirm it. If you want to add it back, click, or any other uh, permission group for that matter, just click the add permission group link, put in a name, we'll put the officers thing back in, and spell it correctly without numbers. These are officers of awesome site. You don't have to have a group description, but I like them. And then from there you can just create the group. Uh, the first thing we're going to go over is how to make someone an actual member of that group. All you have to do is click Add Members. You'll be brought to this screen. And this will have a list of every member of your guild site. But I only have one member, so we'll go ahead and add GL Slater by clicking his name clicking my name. Click the little arrow button over here, which will put him in the officers group. And then you can modify group members, and you can see he's become a group member. You can do the same thing to remove them. Just add or remove members. And there you go. He's no longer a member of that group. The second thing is adding permissions to view certain forums. So just click the Add Permissions link, and we have the I have the officers forum set to <coughs> not be viewable by the general public, just by certain groups. So we'll go ahead and unlo allow the officers access to officer discussion. And from here we start getting into the real meat of it. You can add permissions for someone to view specific admin tabs. So if you look up here you can give someone access to the members tab which is right here and when you click a box it goes live so anyone who's in that permission group when you click to give them permissions on the members tab has all the permissions on here same thing for recruiting for forums same thing for permissions this is something to keep in mind if you give someone access to the permissions tab they can then add or remove privileges from other groups 
the next thing is not on the admin side of the site. It's just on the front end, so on kind of the navigation sections on the site. A lot of people give their raid leaders access to Rapid Raid and being able to add calendar events and uploading images to the file library and the image gallery for screenshots and the like. And it's the same process as before, just click the button and they'll have access to that tab on the front page. And the only other thing that you can add here are whether or not they can customize the site. So you have people who can get to the section links and pages admin area up here. Or you can give them access to the styles and templates and or whether they can customize widgets on your guild site. And there's no sa there's no saving here you don't have to click a button to update it. It automatically updates. The next thing that we're going to talk about is member only content. I know a lot of people don't like seeing or people being able to see everything on their site without being a member of it. So all you have to do is go to the permissions tab again, click make selected site content member only. It brings you here. Now, right now I have it so that people can't see only members of the guild site can see the guild roster and the image gallery and file library. So all you need to do is click these boxes over here to make content only available to your members. So if it's on the guild site itself, they won't even be able to see the uh, the link unless they are unless they're logged in and a member of the site. They won't be able to see it on the primary nav. The last thing we're going to talk about is who can upload to who can add images and such like to the site on the gallery upload settings. So if you'll click gallery upload settings, it brings you to this screen. The standard is that regular members can't add anything to the image gallery or file library. And to change this, if you want everyone to be able to upload screenshots, for example, and you click the on button and you save the setting. Same thing for the file library. And the last option is for adding specific characters. So if you're in a guild, if you're in a like a WoW guild or a Swatter guild, a lot of the times people will have alts that you can add or uh, add to the guild. If you're playing a game that doesn't need that, then, or you just don't want to allow them to do it themselves, you can not allow them to uh, add characters and save that setting. And that's what I have for you today. And if you have any questions, you can shoot me an email at support at guildlaunch.com or post on the support forums at uh, http colon slash slash support dot guildlaunch dot com. Thank you.